Good evening, Excellency, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a special edition of the Cambodia Global Dialogue on Southeast Asia TV. Uh, tonight we have uh, the pleasure to have the first interview outside the virtual studio of uh, the, the station. And I could not find a better uh, team to, to do this, this pilot. Uh, I guess uh, since this is our first pilot, Maybe there's going to be many things that may, go, that may go wrong, but it's all right. But I, I find that uh, it, it's, a, a, it's important that I look for something that is of national interest, that is of national uh, sort of like priority, and I could not find a better team uh, and partner to, to have this uh, pilot session. Uh, today we'll be focusing uh, on the partnership between the Royal Government of Cambodia and the Asian Development Bank in the context of a, a joint country partnership strategy. And I have the pleasure to, to have with me today uh, the, the, the director of uh, the Cambodia Resident Mission, my good friend Putu uh, Kamayana, and uh, Peter Brimbo, uh, another good long time friend, uh, who is uh, the senior economist uh, of the, uh, the, the Cambodia Resident Mission. Welcome. Thank you. Well, y y you know, uh, I, I have to say that we, this is not the first time that uh, we have this dialogue. Putu, uh, you know, we, we had uh, a few months ago, and Peter, you, you did follow up on uh, the, the, the partnership strategy. But uh, what, what I want to stress for the next half hour in this dialogue is more on how are we going to you know, implement you know, uh, this strategy, because the strategy is about, uh, it's a three-year time frame, 2011-2013. And I, when, when I look at the strategy, I look and say, but what, what can we achieve in three years' time? Because ultimately, you know, you want to see some tangible result. And when I look at the, 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 some of the outcome that this country's partnership strategy uh, have, have set out, right, very ambitious, I, I feel that, mine, when we achieve that goal, we should be very proud, right? And, and maybe for, for the audience, just to give you an idea, like, okay, on rice, you know, in terms of uh, uh, the, the, the export, we want 1 million by 2015, but uh, our goal is 2013. But in terms of amount, uh, millions of hectares of acreage are be, you know, uh, irrigated. You know, the amount of transport, uh, the electricity grid that the people will be accessed, this is amazing. So I want to ask you the first question. You know, uh, how you know, comfortable are you that this outcome will be uh, achieved? Well, maybe I can kick off uh, uh, to say, first of all, thank you very much, uh, Excellency Sipana, for giving us the opportunity of uh, being your guinea pig. <laughs> uh, and uh, we hope uh, it will not discourage you from uh, uh, other uh, you know, uh, events like this or yes. with other partners. But uh, uh, we're honored to have the chance to uh, you know, explain uh, to the public uh, a little more about uh, our uh, work here in Cambodia and our, our strong par partnership with the royal government. Um, <clears throat> Yes, yes, our strategy is only covering a three-year time frame because yes. uh, it only goes to the end of the, of the current uh, National Strategic Development Plan and Rectangular Strategy. And so we fully expect to prepare uh, a new uh, five-year strategy uh, once the new uh, Rectangular Strategy and, uh, and SDP are issued uh, following the elections. Yes. But I mean, development is not something that happens, you know, one day and does not happen the next. Yes. And, uh, it takes a long time for uh, uh, outcomes and uh, impacts on the, uh, the economy, on, on the, the social development of, of the country and the people uh, to be achieved. Uh, so uh, the, the results that we're targeting under this CPS uh, is not just going to be a, a, a result of, of the work that we have set out in the CPS, yes. uh, but actually an accumulation mm. of the impact and the outcomes from the work that we have done since we resumed operations yes. here in 1993. Yes. Uh, and so uh, we, we have several 
projects ongoing. Yes. In fact, many more than what is reflected in the CPS yes. over this three-year period. Uh, and we hope to see the, the achievements uh, and impacts of those uh, development uh, uh, projects uh, coming out over this period, which hopefully will help us to, to achieve the targets that we've set uh, in, in the CPS uh, yes. itself. Yeah, uh, uh, you know, uh, it, the, the world now is going through a very difficult moment, you know, economically in the U.S. and Europe, what's happening in uh, Greece, that sort of thing. These are all external challenges that will have a direct bearing on uh, the, the development uh, of this country and particularly, you know, on the uh, country partnership strategy. Uh, Peter, maybe you can shed a bit, you know, uh, the light a bit on the challenge you know, that you will see that we as the government as well as ADB as a partner have to overcome in terms of global challenge, in terms of regional challenge, and perhaps also uh, going down even to the country in terms of decentralization, uh, deconcentration, you know, how all these things will help shape, you know, the, the, the implementation of this strategy. Yeah, well, I think one of the key issues that, that we tried very hard to build into the implementation plan for this strategy was the issue of integration. And that means integration at different levels. Yes. Uh, at the very basic level, mm -hmm. it means looking at the projects that we have to build roads, to support agricultural farms, yes. to support the growth of, of secondary towns, and so on, that they link together and link the country much more effectively into the region and into the world yes. in terms of supply chains. Mm -hmm. And one of the key challenges that the government faces now and the country faces is to accelerate the process of economic diversification. And of course, the rice policy, which mm -hmm. uh, the ADB will be supporting yeah, through yeah. a major Yeah, I, I, uh, project. I can see the picture here. <clears throat> yeah, it's there for you. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're putting together a major agricultural uh, commercialization initiative yeah. to, to uh, improve the production of rice and support the uh, generation of more value added and, and so on in the rice industry. Yeah. So diversification in all sectors and integration between different projects. Yeah. As far as the events going on in, in, in Europe or America now, yeah. Yeah. Uh, not too much we can do except okay. Okay. try to build up the strength within Cambodia yes. and in the Asia region which is okay. still growing very fast. Okay. okay. Uh, from, from, from the challenge perspective, you know, uh, what are the various sectors that you think are important pillar, you know, in the, the strategy? Well, um, based on the extensive uh, discussions we had and analysis yes. that we undertook mm -hmm. in preparing the, the partnership strategy, uh, we've come up with uh, five priority sectors. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, which uh, are a match between the government's uh, requirements under the NSDP, okay. uh, the government's objectives, and also ADB's uh, uh, corporate strategic uh, objectives yes. uh, in what we s we call Strategy 2020. Mm -hmm. So, uh, basically, the five uh, s uh, sectors uh, that we will work in are agriculture and rural development, okay. uh, urban development, and municipal services, including uh, water supply, sanitation. Yes. In including covering the rural mm. areas. Education, uh, focused primarily on uh, lower secondary education, yes. as well as technical and vocational training. Yes. Uh, the transport sector, mm. focused primarily on yes. provincial and rural roads, because okay. the national highway network is, is already in reasonably good shape, and yes. we have some ongoing work uh, mm. to improve the, the, the maintenance of, of yeah. the, the national highways, mm -hmm. but uh, we're now focusing on uh, getting uh, the the hinterlands, the, yes. the rural uh, hinterlands, uh, better connected to this uh, national uh, network, and finally financial sector development. Yes, um, we we've been involved in the financial sector for a long time. Um, <coughs> we also have uh, a, a facilitating sector, which is public sector management, ah, okay. where we are supporting uh, strengthening the government's. Uh, which is a cross-cutting. It's a cross-cutting uh, uh, sector, uh, for instance, covering uh, public financial management, 
uh, and supporting the decentralization uh, and the concentration program of the yes. government yes. Um, and, and many other aspects of, of good governance yes. to, to improve the mm. delivery of public services yes. to the people. Yeah. Uh, but we see, as, as uh, Peter mentioned earlier, that there are a lot of <coughs> synergies that mm. we're trying to promote through our, our various initiatives uh, and, and uh, uh, so that the impact of each of these initiatives will be greater than yes. uh, uh, if they were standalone. Yes. You, you know, one of your uh, sector focus is uh, quite interesting because, you know, you, you, you see uh, for example, the, what's happening in the world, but sometimes it's always the silver lining. You know, I mean, nothing you can do about the flood, nothing you can do about uh, uh, things happening abroad. But for for example, uh, when you mentioned about this uh, vocational training, all along we've been pushing to say Cambodia need to develop a more skilled labor force. But you know, in the mind of many people, it's always irrespective of what school I go. Will I get a job? Where is the demand? And it's interesting that in recent months, as, as recent as recent months, you see a big drive, you know, uh, of, of Japanese coming to this country, Korean uh, in terms of man light manufacturing. And these are the sort of uh, demand that would help in this case, you know, a, a third component, which is the private sector you know, into our equation, which is the government and private sector partnership, right? So, so I can see that if you, uh, uh, if your program two years down the road will deliver so many two or 300,000 young, vocationally trained Cambodian, they could be absorbed right away from the moment they, they graduate from their school into a workforce. And these to me are very tangible, quick win, you know, that the, this country needs. Well, clearly, we're, I mean, we're working now on, on building a vocational training system yes. that will, will stand Cambodia in good stead way down the road, right? Yes. You've got to think, what do we need in 2020? What do we need in 2030? Yes. And we're building that. Yes. But we're also now looking very much at the shorter term mm. um, training initiatives linked up directly with industry, okay. Okay. linked up with the garment sector, mm -hmm. linked up with tourism, okay. linked up with uh, special economic mm -hmm. zones yeah. like the uh, Phnom Penh special economic yes. zone where many yes. of the Japanese investors are going, uh, in the agricultural sector as mm -hmm. well. And so I think over the next uh, few months we'll be looking very much mm -hmm. at how we can build on the, the, uh, the larger technical vocational yes. training infrastructure yes. to build these what could be public-private partnerships okay, okay. Uh, in, in uh, producing yeah. uh, skilled workers that can go straight into mm. the industry. Mm. And I think we will co cooperate very closely with, um, under the Council of Ministers, the National Training mm. Board yes, yes. Uh, and the National Employment Agency, okay. which are just beginning to kick in. And we, mm. we hope that will help mm. across all of our range of projects. Mm. Uh, Putu, you know, uh, ADB has been driving the GMS you know, initiative and next year Cambodia will be chairing ASEAN and the team next year is uh, is about uh, one destiny, you know, how the destiny of the, the 10 ASEAN countries together and from there when you mention destiny somehow there are some notion of linkage, notion of connectivity and I, I can help but to look in your sector, transport it's definitely, you know, a, a, a major sector that we have to succeed. Rail, uh, land road, you know. But to me, I think we did okay. Uh, ADB, you've been quite uh, active in, in developing ASEAN Highway, GMS, corridor, that sort of thing. But I'm still a little bit uh, concerned of the slow pace, more on the soft side, the soft infrastructure side. Anything you you are looking from from the trade fast station? I understand you're working on a blue book right now on on trade fast station. Peter, what do what do you what's your take on that? Well, indeed, I mean ADB is now going to be moving ahead with uh, a very significant six million dollar technical assistance project, looking at trade and transport facilitation in the GMS, yeah, yeah. as well as some larger projects mm. looking at the whole of ASEAN. Um, for Cambodia in particular, yeah, yeah. we're looking at the Southern Economic Corridor, okay. and, and that's yeah. that's the the road going from Bangkok yeah, yeah. through Phnom Penh down to Ho Chi Minh, mm. 
and there are already investors now moving into Cambodia along that road, mm. both down from Bangkok, like uh, Mini Bay Group from, yes, yeah. from Thailand, and also many Japanese uh, clothing manufacturers mm. coming up from Ho Chi Minh. Mm -hmm. So the corridor is already starting yeah. to 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 um, to yield its results, yes, but yes. there's still a lot of issues remaining in terms mm. of. Uh, the uh, logistics costs yeah, okay. and okay. the unofficial fees yes. Yes. and the lack of transparency along that mm. corridor okay. that really need to be dealt with. Okay, okay. Um, if you look outside your office, you see the river. See, it's beautiful. You have a beautiful office here, by the way, um, mm. rather than this virtual studio a little bit far from the town. <laughs> uh, but all I want, you know, the reason I say this is because I can't help it, you know. The river is so high. Inundation in Bangkok, inundation different part of Cambodia. One of your team, one of your sector here is urban development. Uh, how do you see this linkage, this between the, you know, the, the migration, the rural area, the development the rural area, you know, uh, Phnom Penh keep growing so so fast, you know, the, the, even now like uh, we were never up to two years ago consider Battambang as a urban pole of growth, right? But now, Batambong is a, a, a fourth pole of growth. We used to think Siem Reap, Siem Reville, but now you have no player in. You know, uh, Batambong, you have Kumpung Cham, you know, so, so these are the thing that uh, the linkage between the urban development versus the rural migration as well. Well, uh, that's a very important feature of our uh, partnership strategy in that uh, we are not only promoting uh, improved agriculture production yeah. and diversification of agricultural products, uh, yeah. you know, starting of course first with the, the focus on uh, rice uh, uh, production, uh, but then we are also uh, focusing on development of the secondary towns and, and mm. cities yes. around the country rather than on Phnom Penh to uh, diversify the locations for uh, businesses to establish agro-processing yes. industries, for instance, yes, indeed. for investors indeed. in agro-processing. Uh, so that will help to reduce the pressure, the growth pressure on Phnom Penh. Mm. Uh, but also these uh, locations are closer to where the, the, mm. the agriculture products are being yes. produced. Yes. Um, and uh, so by, by improving the infrastructure uh, in, in the secondary towns, uh, uh, we, we hope to uh, promote mm. more uh, uh, diversified uh, uh, development, urban development yes. uh, in the country. Uh, and, and so people won't have to travel so far to find work. Yes. So uh, it sort of release the pressure a bit yes. from the uh, coming build to town. Yes, right. yeah. Build urban rural linkages yes, yes, so yes. that you have people don't have to go from the rural areas all the way to Penang, yes, yes. but build the linkages with the yes. towns along yes. the corridor. Yeah. So that link a lot to the, your, your, your transport strategy also. Yes. 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 That's why uh, having, you know, uh, improving the provincial mm. and rural roads to access these uh, yes. uh, growth centers yes. is also a part mm. of our strategy. Yeah. Um, and then in promoting access to finance for the SMEs uh, so that these uh, industries yes. can grow in mm. these towns. Okay, I see. So, so your, your last component is on finance. That's where you, you try to you know, provide. A, specifically, could you be a little bit more specific on the, the, the component on finance? Well, uh, we have been uh, working with the, the government uh, for uh, uh, now some 10 years yes. uh, in the financial sector okay. with the first financial sector blueprint. blueprint right. uh, and, and we updated, uh, we helped the government update that after five years. And so we've just completed uh, uh, the preparation uh, of a new financial sector development okay. strategy, which yeah. I understand has been submitted to the Council of Ministers. Yes. And uh, in each case, we have then, uh, once the strategies are approved, mm. we provide a series mm. of uh, 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 loans to help the government achieve yes. the reforms mm. required. Yes. The loans and technical assistance, okay. substantial technical okay. assistance, okay. Uh, in order to strengthen bank supervision, yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, improve access to finance, uh, as I mentioned, uh, uh, diversify sources of, of capital for investment uh, yes. by the private sector, um, uh, such as uh, leasing and insurance. Mm, I see, yes. Uh, yes. So uh, it's really quite, uh, there's m 
there's much to do. Yes. Uh, but uh, we're pleased with the strong cooperation mm. we've had yes. with the yeah. National Bank and the Ministry of Economy and Finance, Ministry of Commerce yeah. on the various aspects of financial sector yeah. development. Mm. Well, we're running out of, of uh, time as always. You know, I really hate this uh, 30 minute thing, you know. <laughs> but uh, I want to give you each a uh, uh, last word. Put, uh, Peter? Well, from my side, I, I think um, I'm really looking forward to the next three years and, yes. and, and, uh, and working with you to help uh, people at large to understand better what we were trying to do at the yes. ADB. And it's certainly been a pleasure to welcome you here to our office today. And likewise, uh, uh, Sipana, thank you very much for this opportunity to, to uh, get some of our messages out to the public. Yes. I hope this has been useful and uh, we're looking forward to continued collaboration with you on uh, uh, explaining more of what ADB is doing and yes. why. Yes. Well, you know, I, I want to say thank you, uh, but uh, I, I, I want to sort of like uh, wrap up a bit by setting uh, a few key messages that I think is important for the, 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 the audience uh, who is watching, whether they're policy maker, uh, because I, I think now there's a lot of students are watching the show. They, I was told by some university professor, they tell the student that this is a, a free you know, lecture you can uh, <laughs> learn in the comfort of your sofa at home. Right, so, so this is great. But, but the message I, I want to stress on this country partnership strategy here is that, you know, it's a three-year strategy, you know, and when we get to the end of the strategy, we, we would have some very tangible outcome that will have a direct impact on the life of the people, on the life of uh, particularly the poor people in the provincial area because the bulk of this, uh, you know, uh, policy and uh, financial intervention has a lot to do with our poverty reduction about meeting the MDG, the Million Development Goal. Uh, <clears throat> but to me, it's all about the partnership. And, you know, Cambodia would not be able to do alone. The Asian Development Bank is a good partner. But it's, it's important we have a clear vision among ourselves. But more than anything, why this program is so important is that we need a stakeholder out there. To understand the private sector, you need to know where in two years' time you know the railroad will be, because if you are in the rice business, you need to strategize in terms of uh, shipping. If you are you know in in agriculture trade, you need to know what are the, the transport route will take place. If if you are in uh, looking for a job, you need to know what sort of job you should be looking for. Occasional. So all these things is is important, you know. If you're an NGO, you know, you also have a big, you know, role to play also by helping pass on the certain of this thing that's happening to the population. Look, guys, you, you don't need to move to Phnom Penh. It's a urban crowd, there's a lot of traffic accident, you know. The, the ADB is working on this uh, provincial, uh, sub-provincial poll. You guys should stick around. That sort of thing, these are all information, you know, that unless it's known and disseminate, we will not make the best use of this strategy. And I think the implementation strategy is really depending on how we could pass on this, this, this sort of like advance. Notice a bit, guys, in three years time, we'll be there. Don't buy the generator set yet, it's expensive. Don't waste $20,000 for when you build a new hotel, because in 2015, you know, the electricity grid will arrive in your hometown you know, then it saves you $20,000. So to me, this is powerful. The information is powerful. So I want to say thank you for taking the time and uh, I hope you stop buying the, that generator set. Wait for two more years. <laughs> okay, good night. <laughs>